Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna be doing a quick video to walk you through how to adjust the north reference on the compass of your Garmin Instinct watch. So as I do in all my videos, I like to start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter if you're using the Solar or one of the non-Solar models. This video should work no matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got. The other thing I'll mention is I'm using the watch as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So the compass, uh, this is one of those things where I'm not gonna tell you how to set it. You kinda wanna use the compass on your own to figure out whether or not you're getting accurate readings or not. In my case, I was not getting accurate readings, so I started playing with some of the different settings on the North Reference to figure out what was wrong with mine. And I'm gonna walk you through those settings right now. So first and foremost, we're gonna go to the compass. There's a couple different ways to get to it. The easiest way is by default, your ABC button is your altimeter, barometer, and compass. If you press and hold that, it should take you into either your compass, your compass, barometer, and altimeter, your altimeter, or your barometer. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna use the up or down button until we're on the one that looks like a compass. Now I can tell you this, the reason I got into this is I can look right now and see the direction that it's facing. It says I'm currently facing south. I know that's wrong. I'm facing east right now. If you're getting a reading like that, you can always do a manual calibration of your compass just to make sure it's calibrated right. I've done that already. I'm still getting an invalid reading. If that's the case, you might wanna look and see where your north reference is. And we're gonna do that by pressing the GPS button to go into our settings for the compass. And we are going to go down to north reference. Now there's a couple of different options in here. Mine is currently set to true. What true means is that you're using a fixed point on the Earth's globe that's pointing towards the North Pole. That um, point never changes. It's, it's a fixed location that it's looking at. I'm going to go ahead and ch change this from true to magnetic. Magnetic would basically mean, I always think of magnetic kind of as your old school compass. You pull out an old school compass that has a magnet in it, the needle is going to point to the alignment of the Earth's magnetic field. Grid would be uh, if you've got a map and you've got a compass and a protractor and you're sitting there doing some calculations, you can put in an actual grid reading to predefine what the north point is. And then user would be if you know the magnetic declination on your own for your location, you can enter it in there as a user. I don't, you know, the user and the grid settings, that's pretty complicated stuff. Maybe if you're a sailor or a, a you know, professional backpacker or something like that, you might be able to use that. I think in most people's case, you're either gonna use the true north or you're gonna use the magnetic. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to magnetic. And now I've successfully adjusted my north reference for my compass. Now when we go back, in my case, it's accurate. Instead of facing south, I'm currently facing east, which I know is correct. And that's kind of the way I stumbled across this. If you're not having any issues with your compass, keep it the way it is. But if you're somebody like me that I knew I was getting an invalid compass reading, look at your north reference and make sure you've got it set accordingly to your location. As always, I hope this video isn't too complicated. If you've got some questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to try and help you out. Thanks for watching.